I've come here to southwest France and specifically Gascony to blend my brand new range of signature wines for Pinot Cruises. And the reason I chose this place, the wines are really hidden, they're kind of under the radar, and that makes them great value for money as well as being really delicious. Gascony is a region right near the Pyrenees Mountain, and as a result, there's a lot of rolling hills. And for our wine growers, it's the perfect setting to grow grapes. I'd say this is a really authentic corner of wine growing because these are kind of farmers with their hands in the soil all coming together in a cooperative to try and make the best of their crop all together. In essence, it's a big family of wine growers and everybody plays its part in the final wine. You're starting with wines that are already very, very good and then you're trying to refine them, put them all together and really make something that is absolutely delicious. Blending wines is a bit like building any kind of a recipe. You can always add more, but you can't take stuff away. So you've got to be really careful because little components have a big impact. It's really bringing together different grape varieties to bring more than the individual flavors. Together, it's, it's kind of like the difference between a solo act and then a massive symphony just belting out the good times. It's really succulent. I mean, it, it makes mm. you want to have more. Yes. That's what you want in a glass of wine, another glass of wine. On PO Cruises, we are really proud about the food and wine that we're offering on board. Having had the opportunity to blend the wine together with Ollie Smith, our wine guru has been really a truly unique experience. Those wines will only be available on board PO and nowhere else in the world. But it's got a nice fruity character as well. I think I can really see people, you know, we've built this and I can see it on board ship, you know, glinting against the ocean spray. It's going to be gorgeous, whether you're in the Caribbean, on a round the world cruise, in the Med, or down a fjord. And I think the white, the rosé, and the red, what they have in common, vibrancy. They're perfect on their own, to enjoy as an aperitif, with food, delicious. That's the feeling you want people to have when they're sitting on board drinking a glass of this, that they're absolutely just top trumps. These three wines have massively exceeded my expectations. I was hoping for fruity, fun, informal wines, We've gone quite a big step above that. They will be launching on board Britannia and then they're gonna roll out across the whole fleet. And I think people are gonna be wowed when they taste them. Do you know what, the name, the label, it's all up for discussion. I actually don't know what it's gonna be called, but I just hope that whichever name we all come up with represents what the wines are. And that's fruit, vibrancy, and fun.